Eistopem um, study is Iceland screen treats or prevents multiple myeloma. And the whole idea is uh, early detection can lead to early treatment and therefore prolonged survival, improved quality of life and hopefully cure. We invited all Icelanders 40 years and older to participate in the study. This is the third year and we have very good participation rate of over 80,000 people. And now we have almost 50,000 samples in-house that we have analyzed. Those that are diagnosed with MGUS or smoldering will enter a randomized clinical trial with three different arms with different approaches with regards to workup and follow-up strategy. Without a doubt, this is the largest uh, and most ambitious study uh, in the area of myeloma and plasma cell disorders. And the interest for the Black Swan Research Initiative is that that early diagnosis can lead to the possibility of early treatment, early intervention, and to potentially be able to cure myeloma. Because it is nationwide, the conclusions that you can draw are much more decisive and much more important. What are the features that would indicate uh, the progression from MGUS to smoldering to myeloma? For a whole nation, it's just incredible. How do you do? I'm Susan Dury. Nice. nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. People here in Iceland understood that it was our duty to help science in this way. Your organization is a testimony to the fact that we can and should and must use all means to advance in the fields of science. Just like me. The people of Iceland really show a willingness to help others to go into these trials and, and research programs because they know that it's going to open up the door to the cure. And that's our ultimate goal always is to find a way to a cure. We're very proud of it, really. And for us uh, here, I think it's um, a natural thing to, at least from, from my perspective, is to, to participate in such research. It's very important for us all, so I think it's our duty to do it. So I feel very happy about that. Despite all these screening programs uh, in the world, there is very little research on the psychological impact of being screened. From the very beginning, this has not just been a very narrow research-minded project, but it has always been built on the idea that this is being done for the patients. And I think that's one of the reasons why so many Icelanders signed on to the study, that, that they realized that this was really being done to take really major steps uh, towards treating myeloma. Since we opened the clinical site uh, last year in April, we have met 1,200 participants for the first visit. And we do blood tests from everyone, and for most of them we take some bone marrow tests as well, and uh, then we do some physical examination. For the screening to be useful, it needs to be practical and manageable, and so you do need a bone marrow for the initial diagnosis, but subsequent to that, it's now feasible to use blood testing to monitor what is the status of the MGUS? Is it remaining stable? What is the status of the smoldering myeloma? Even the myeloma with treatment can be monitored and followed using blood testing. The prevalence of smoldering myeloma is higher than we anticipated, so that could have some implications uh, throughout the world because treating early at the smoldering phase is beneficial. You don't find people with smoldering myeloma because they are asymptomatic unless you screen for them or if you find them by chance. And we don't believe in a chance here. We want to go out there and find them and offer them early treatment. The 80,000 and more individuals who are participating have uh, genetic information available. They have been sequenced and this genetic information can tell us if there are underlying genetic variants in patients with plasma cell disorders that are not present in the rest of the Icelandic population. And it will be possible to develop a risk model of genetic features that predispose people to get MGUS and myeloma. As a patient, this research is critical for patients going down the road further. Just sitting through the meetings, hearing the latest on the iStop program is very exciting. And the opportunity for us to bring that information back to support groups is unbelievable. 
when you gather so much information, blood samples, results from the hospitals, all cancers, every prescription that they have gotten, you see that the complexity of the study becomes more and more. But also you see so many opportunities on what can be done. So every time we sit down and talk about new ideas and what to do, we come up with 10 or 20 new ideas. So what we're doing now is, besides what we decided at onset, we're also looking at other important areas like comorbidity, like neuropathy, uh, like uh, cardiac disease, renal disease, and, and so on. So the, the opportunities are actually endless.